Hey guys, I'm Kent. Today I'm going to show you how to play your regular PC games inside your Oculus Rift in stereoscopic 3D. Let's go. So, this is what it looks like. I'm in space. It's pretty cool. It feels like I'm floating in space. But there's also a desktop screen floating in space with me. So this program is called Virtual Desktop. It does just what it says. It turns your computer screen into a virtual screen inside your Rift. So when you look through your Rift, you basically have a circular screen. You've got to kind of have the screen zoomed out, otherwise you, the corners of your screen and even the top and the bottom of your desktop screen will be cropped off. Uh, you can do other environments. Ooh. So yeah, you can pick other environments, you can probably download other environments. There's also a movie theater environment. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, so the program is called Virtual Desktop. They're going to make it compatible with HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. This is the Oculus Rift DK2. Obviously it works with this. It's going to work with the new Oculus. It's free right now. I'm not sure if you're going to be charging for it soon or not. I like to go no background because it's kind of my need to upgrade my PC and um, when I'm running a 3D background plus 3D video games on the screen, it's a little it's a little taxing. Um, you can zoom way in on the screen. Now it looks like maybe I'm a couple, like a foot away from like a 75, 80 inch screen. But then when I go like this, now it looks like I'm, I guess, 10 meters away from a really big screen, like movie theater size screen, because I totally have to like turn my head every which way to see every detail. Anyways, so the first thing you want to get is virtual desktop. You can get that from wearevr.com. And then if you want to, and that's going to allow you to watch side-by-side -side stereoscopic 3D movies. And then if you get a PC game that has side-by-side -side built into it, three side-by-side -side options built into it as part of the game, then you can play that game just by hitting... Uh, F7 on your keyboard or checking this and then you can play a PC game that already has 3D options built into it then you will see the image in 3D but if you want to play a PC game that doesn't have 3D support built into it then you will need to get some sort of injector program there are several of them out there Tridef I believe is the best it costs somewhere between 40 and 50 dollars though i'm using it right now on a 14 day free trial it allows you to play virtually well virtually any pc game in stereoscopic 3d on your 3d tv unfortunately since we're also playing it through the oculus rift using virtual desktop we have a few issues um, and only about 50% of the games that I've tried are working. Um, but when they work, it works really cool. It works really good. So let's try to play Resident Evil 5 in 3D. So first, I'm going to open this up. And when you open it up, it scans for PC games that you've already have, that it can find that you have installed. I have a lot more than it found, but you can manually add them as well. Basically, you just have to open it up through this program, and it's going to split it up into two pictures. One for the left eye, and one for the right eye. So right now, I'm seeing two images. Um, a left and a right. But we need to change it, so it's just showing this eye, one image, and this eye, the other image. To do that, you need to hit F7 on the keyboard. 
which doesn't always work when you're in the game. Sometimes you have to go out. All tabbed out. F7. Okay. To me, it looks like I'm playing this on a, in a movie theater almost. And it's in perfect 3D. We just got a 3D TV last year, about 15 months ago. Um, a Samsung high-end 3D television. For about $1,500 on Black Friday sales. And I was really excited to play some of my PlayStation 3 3D games on it for the first time. And I tried about five of them. And they were pretty cool, but I'd already been playing with the Oculus Rift before I got the 3D TV, so I wasn't that impressed with the, the 3D on the television and the PlayStation 3 games. Well, it looked pretty cool. It, there was quite a bit of ghosting. The glass, the shutter glasses, it comes with shutter glasses, wireless shutter glasses. And they don't block out all the left light and all the right light, or all the right image and all the left image perfectly. So... You get a lot of kind of ghosting. But in Oculus Rift, you don't see any ghosting. It's perfect 3D. Better 3D than that you can get on a screen. So it feels like a hybrid between a flat screen 2D PC game and an Oculus Rift game. It feels a lot more immersive and intense. I do normally play in front of a 52 inch screen only about a meter away from it and I, I guess the fact that it blocks off the room around is just completely black and there's nothing but me and the screen, this floating screen, it makes it a lot more intense and fun. I think the 3D pops a lot more as well, it really pops out at you and I think like making the screen seem really big because you've got stereoscopic vision and you can see how close the screen is to you. And making it like really big like movie theater size um, makes it more immersive as well because it's so huge in front of you. It's kind of it's kind of weird, like if you're close to a small screen, it's big. It takes up about as much field of view, but it doesn't seem as big as if you're far away from a really big screen, you get that you get that feeling, you get that that's a big screen <laughs> feeling. Some drawbacks are, you, you know, you have to wear a hot headset on your face and get coon face when you're done. It's kind of bringing back life to my old, uh, my old 2D PC games. Another drawback of it that I forgot to mention is that when you look through Oculus Rift, you see a circle like this. So you gotta zoom out if you don't want those corners to be cropped. Therefore, you're even using less of half of a 1080p screen per eye. So you do get pretty bad um, screen door effect, pixelation, so you can't really play games with a lot of small text because you won't be able to read it. Um, I'm sure with the higher resolution of the Oculus Rift commercial version and the HTC Vive though, this won't be as much of a problem. So yeah, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching my video and we will see you in the next video.